Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new series of fantasy Premier League football. So a few more weeks before the Premier League starts and I have decided to draft up my team for fantasy football. Before I get onto my team I just want to say thank you for those people who are actually watching my fantasy football videos um, and I'm going to carry on. I'm going to keep going because I enjoy football, I love talking about it and I love watching it. So, for those new people, come and join the community, come subscribe, come like as well, it does help, and just show your support, or give us some ideas, uh, let us know what you think of my team, and your team, maybe we can talk in the comments below. Before I get onto my team, I just want to show you guys my season history, I think this is very important for you guys to see, to see what kind of level that I am at. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there is much better than me, um, but I enjoy, I enjoy football. I love it, and I and I want to make videos for it. So this is why I'm showing it, just in case for those people who are new to this channel or just viewing it to see what kind of ranking I have. So first season I was around one million, and then uh, the second season that I played this game, uh, forty-seven thousand, which is pretty good. And I thought, yes, I I can win this game. This is good. And then I got. Uh, 500,000 um, last season. Uh, I did all like I did all the game week videos. Um, so I am definitely want to continue and make more uh, for this season. So my aim is actually to be better than what uh, 516,000. To be honest with you, so that is the goal at the end of the day. So let's see if I can do it. Now before you judge my team, I just want to say this is my first ever draft for this season. There's so many weeks left before the season starts. There's so many transfers that's going to be made. And this is just a an example. It's not my final product. But I think there are some players in here which I may use uh, for my final team. So there are two game plans that I'm thinking of. Number one is have a bench that is really cheap and use my wild card in game week three or game week four. Then I'll be able to know the player's positions, I'll be able to understand who's playing where and you know who's going to be playing all the time, and I'll be able to see if there is any new transfers available. Or, what I can do is, fill up my bench with really good players as well, so overall I have a good, decent players, and then just hold on to my wildcard as much as I can. So that's the two kind of game plans I'm thinking and I might do some um, more drafts later on to show you guys. So first up we got Foster in goal with a 4.5 price tag. Now the only reason I brought him into my team is actually yeah the price tag and he plays for West Brom. Now I know they didn't get a lot of clean sheets last season but I feel like they're going to do something good this season. My other goalkeeper is going to be Elliot. And not because he plays for Newcastle and stuff like that. It's because he's 4.0. And I think he is the main goalkeeper for Newcastle. Now we've got Nathan Ake with 5.0. He's actually really expensive because last season he wasn't. And last season was actually really, really good. He scored a lot of goals. He assisted. He got clean sheets. It was a cheap option. And then Chelsea took him away. So, yeah. All them points just gone out of the blue. Next up, we got Trippier. I'm pretty sure that he's going to be the next Carl Walker, um, someone that is going to be playing. Um, and when he did play for Spurs, in I think it was less than 10 games, he assisted five times and he got three clean sheets. What an amazing player. I'm pretty sure there's going to be assisting a lot this season. Next up, we got Cedric with 5.0. A little bit expensive. I thought it would have been went down, but with 11 clean sheets, with three assists last season, and it's not just that. It's not just that. It's not even just him. It's not just him. It's because of Southampton. Southampton's fixtures. Look at this: Swansea, West Ham at home, at home, Huddersfield away, and Watford at home. Very, very good early on. So might as well bring in a Southampton player. Now, this was the same 
issue with um, Redmond because it is quite cheap. 6.5 is not too bad. Um, he scored 7. Uh, you know, assisted 1. Okay, 12 clean sheets. But still, he, he should do more. But it's not that. It's because of his fixtures. So that's why I brought him to my team for now. Uh, we've got Coutinho here. Uh, he was amazing last season for me. Like, uh, Well, not just for me, but everyone, obviously. But when he got that injury, I was really sad to let him go. And I want him in my team. And yeah, I, I really like this player. So, you know, 13 goals, 8 assists. I'm pretty sure he's going to do more and better and better and better each time. Uh, his fixtures are quite decent too. First two weeks is actually really good. So hopefully he can get some kind of points. We've got Delhi Ali here. I know I could have brought Kane in. And I trust me guys, this is the first draft. So there's going to be a lot of changes. This is not even my team. Like what well, it is, but it's not my final team. I'm just changing and trying different things. But we've got Ali with 9.5. So he should actually rise. But look at that. 18 goals, 11 assists. Done better than last season. So I'm pretty sure that he's going to probably match that as well. We've got Sane. Um... He is 8.5, so he went up. And it's not because he is a good player, obviously, but it's because I need a Manchester City player. I'm pretty sure Manchester City right now is looking dangerous. And I, find, I think if they get one more defender or something like that, I think they're going to be very, very good. So I just wanted to have a Manchester City player when they score like 10 goals or something in one game where hopefully one of my players actually does something. <laughs> And as you can see, we've got like a set against Leicester. Now, he is 10.5. I thought it would have been cheaper. But 10.5, yeah, it's actually really expensive, to be honest with you. Um, but I feel like he's going to do really, really well in Arsenal. Uh, with Ozil helping him out, with Sanchez, I think he'll be able to score a lot of goals this season. We've got Defoe. Um, just because he went to Bournemouth, you know, he's gone back, back to uh, one of his old clubs. And he's just been, he's such a consistent guy. And you can't go wrong. 8.0, very good. Boom was an attacking team. And why not? He takes penalties as well. So yeah, that's why I boom into my team. Next up, we got Lukaku with 11.5. He is a goal machine. And now that he's in Man United, there's going to be a lot more goals. I'm pretty sure about that. So that's why he's definitely, definitely in my team. And obviously we've got Elliot uh, with 4.0 um, on my bench. And we've got Loftus-Cheek. Maybe a good option to bring into your team, guys. If he does play, he might be playing a little bit more attacking with 4.5. That's actually really good. So he's got a lot of potential to do really well. Uh, Rangel, to be honest with you, I don't even know if he's going to play. I just, I just got him because he's 4.0. And Marapa, uh, I don't even know if he's going to play. Just because it's 4.0. So, this was my team for my first draft. Now, but don't think that this is going to be my full team. I am definitely, definitely going to do some transfers. Um, I was thinking, obviously, bringing Harry Kane. Something like this, just to go quickly. And maybe, okay, if that's the case, then I have to get rid of Ali. And then I was thinking to get someone like De Bruyne and maybe get rid of Sane and try to fit in someone in the middle here because I do love um, De Bruyne. So then I have like Kazette, Lukaku, Kane, De Bruyne, Coutinho. And I don't mind that. And if Loftus Cheek works and Redmond works, you know, I can get a very cheap uh, midfielder if I can, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe I need to get him downgrade Trippier. Um, and I could... I'm just doing this really quick, really. Four point... All right, let's just say... All right, let's just get him. That's fine. Okay, then I get, I've got to go for 4.5 defender. You know, I don't mind that. Because then you have Lacazette. You get you get Lukaku. You get Kane. Um, you get De Bruyne. You got Continuo. Redmond. And if any of these guys actually perform as well, like Loftus-Cheek, then I got a fourth midfielder. And R Romero was always going to play anyway. And get a... I'm pretty sure there's a lot of defenders anyway. But I'm going to be very skint. So if anyone gets injured, I can't do any transfers. But I have these big boys to get rid of if I need to take a hit. 
But this season, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to try my best not to. So there's a lot of options, guys. There's a lot of things that I want to do. This is just the first draft. And that's about it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some kind of information out of it. Uh, hopefully, I entertained you a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm going to continue with this. I love fantasy football. I'm going to make more videos. And that's about it. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.